Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I have a collective haul for you. I went shopping today, I just actually literally came back from town and then yesterday I went shopping in an outlet centre and then last week I went shopping so I've been doing a lot of shopping and um, I wanted to put this up for you right now because the offers are going on right now and things you can get in store. So um, okay I'm going to start off with boots, they had the 3 for 2 going on and I'm not sure if you knew this and because um, I didn't until um, recently. The 3 for 2 offers, you don't have to get it in the same brand. So say for example, if there's Soap and Glory and it says 3 for 2, you don't have to get 3 Soap and Glory brands for 2, if that makes sense. You can go wherever the 3 for 2 is. And I know that kind of makes sense, but I never really, I never thought about it and I always just stuck to that brand. So it really helps now that I know because I can kind of venture out and get everything that I need um, without paying so much money. So the 3 for 2 offer I did was I got another one of these Anas no, I was gonna say Anastasia Brow Wiz. It is the two-in-one brow filling pencil and brush from Soap and Glory in hot chocolate. This is pretty much made in the same factory as the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So if you have the medium brown or the medium ash brown, it is the exact colour hot chocolate and I use that on my brows. I've got it on today. It is fabulous and so now I don't have to spend 20 odd dollars I spend I don't know how much this is. Seven pounds. Seven pounds for this. And um, I don't have identical. to go to America. And it's, yeah, it's identical. So it's my sister, by the way. Then um, another thing that I got, um, I've finished all my mascaras. And um, I got the Revlon Grow Luscious Plumping Mascara. And I love this. Um, actually, I normally just get the Grow Luscious one. And then I forgot about it. Or, no, I bought it in America. Then I bought one for my sister, came back here, they didn't have it, um, and now they have it. So I got the plumping one this time just because. So, um, yeah, and then I think it's just in a black colour, I didn't even check. Um, yeah, 003 black and brown, I got black and brown, so uh, I kind of wish I just got black, I didn't check the colours, but oh well. That, and then the second one, or the third one that I got for the 3 for 2 offer was the Duo Lash Glue, so that's that I don't have that to show you then I decided to spend one pound I think 29 or one pound 49 on this which I'm kind of like is that too much um, for the Tresemme platinum strength 60 second treatment shot I cut my hair and it's definitely much more healthy and amazing but I feel like it's still dry and like um, too scraggly still even though he cut off the majority of the split ends so I think this treatment shot will work, so I'm going to try it out and see how it is. Um, then I got this from um, Boots, it's the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot, Co Hot Cloth Cleanser, the Christmas edition because it's in this really cute packaging. And I got um, a few of these actually before for a swap that I was doing. Um, and this is basically the Hot Cloth hot cloth cleanser but in a small form and I love it because I'm going on holiday in January and this is going to be a perfect travel size and it always comes with their muslin cloth which I adore so I really like this and I think this was about 18-19 pounds it is a perfect stocking stuffer for any of you beauty addicts this is definitely going to be in my Christmas gift guide uh, video when I do one and that's all I got from Boots then I went to L'Occitane yesterday and I got the Bon Mare um, gentle cream it's the milk formula um, this is for hand body and face I bought it purposely for hands um, and I really like it because it has this sort of twisty top to open and close and it's just a really gentle lightweight non-greasy formula so really happy about that and then I bought the almond milk um, what's it called foot cream and this just sounded really nice it moisturizes and relieves kind of tired feet um, this just comes in the regular cap and I just, I really like this. I tried this on last night and my sister tried it on too and we really loved it. And we love this um, um, collection as well because we have the shower in, in shower oil as well. So yeah, I got these two. Sorry, I'm kind of rushing a little bit because um, my battery's going to run out. Then another thing I got from Boots but a week ago was this um, Brilliant Time... Um, thing from Bumble and Bumble and it's basically and it says it here I'll read what it says it says it is unique and hard to define which is very true it gives hair polish and a sort of languid slept in sexy look and that is what I've got in my hair today and as you can see it's just very like undone and kind of you know it's got a bit of volume a little bit of here and there sort of frizz but I, I like it it's just very like 
undone and yeah just I don't know slept in I think I think that's the kind of look and I, I like that for this sort of style length of hair as well um, I don't know if I would recommend it per se I'm glad that I've got it and I'm glad that I'm using it and it does give me the look that I want but I need to try it a little bit more I think to really see if I love love it and I can't live without it but so far it's given me a nice and um, texture and finish so that is that then I went to Topshop and this is today um, and I got these Joni super high waisted skinny waist 28 to L30 length 30 um, jeans and they're more of the thin um, very stretchy comfy sort of legging jegging style um, and length 30 actually fits me quite nicely I thought it would ankle graze me but it it doesn't it's a little bit um, lower than your ankles so it's quite nice and the waist 28 I'm normally a waist 26 27 but because these are so kind of like elasticated I think um, it, it just fit fine and I think this type of jean um, I needed to go a waist 28 whereas the Jamie jeans I normally go 26 27 so I'm hoping it fit perfectly in the changing room and I hope it doesn't kind of bag out throughout the rest of the week when I wear it but it says on here um, new high performance stretch technology the perfect fit all day so that's what I'm hoping for and then both kneecaps have these really good slits on them and they look really really nice on and you'll see them in an outfit of the day on Instagram for sure probably tomorrow because I will wear them then um, okay then from Topshop I bought this jumper and you will have seen this on my Instagram um, it's a really nice take on the leopard print it is a really pretty grey with some sort of nudish sort of bits in it and it's just kind of baggy and it rolls up really nicely and the underlay is kind of like a stripy material and it's just a really soft look and for Topshop this was £29 which is for me inexpensive for Topshop because Topshop is normally, normally very expensive these I think were 38 yeah and um, I, it's got kind of like a little bit of a high-low and it's just a thin jumper but it just it keeps me well warm and just I don't know I just really liked it and I think it looked really nice with the statement necklace although I haven't found a good statement necklace to go with it yet and this jumper oh my goodness I literally did wear this seven days in a row I Instagrammed that I got this and I told you guys to run and get this this is from Zara this is the Zara knit collection and it is beautiful it is a speckled multicolored speckled cream wheat colored v-neck off the shoulder slouchy jumper unbelievably comfy with leggings that look so chic especially with like knee-high boots that's how I've been wearing it and I love it it is so so nice expensive though it was I think 38 pounds but I loved it so much my sister went and I, I, I bought her one too because normally if we have one then we won't buy another one we'll just share but because like I literally wouldn't take this off and give her a chance to wear it she had to go buy herself one um, but it is perfect it is the most perfect one if you want that off the shoulder look without it literally falling off you um, it's got that perfect oversize I still got my regular size medium and it fits wonderfully and I normally wear a really nice burgundy t-shirt which is from the basics collection in H&M and it just kind of brings out and the colors that are in here I don't know if you can kind of see what sort of colors are there but it's kind of got pink yellow blue red just like a little bit of speckled but it doesn't like take it away from like it just being quite basic and nude too and then the last clothing item is what I'm wearing today it is this caramelin jumper um, it's gonna be hard to show you but it's got a really nice neck it's not quite a polo neck but it just reaches up high cuts nicely um, kind of longish <coughs> sleeves and um, it has a sort of like I don't know that sort of shape bottom not scalloped and not V but kind of like a smooth V and it is actually blue and black and I'm not sure if that's gonna come off on camera and then the the cut of it is kind of diagonal it has like diagonal pieces I know it's really hard to show you but um, I do have again another Instagram post of me wearing this and I bought it in a size 3 which is a little bit bigger it's I think this is a 12 to 14 or 10 to 12 and I'm normally a size 2 in caramel but um, this was 40 pounds 
And finally, our makeup items that we got from John Lewis. My sister got a lipstick, so you can check her Instagram account for that. Um, one that is wrapped up is for my mum. We got her one of the really nice new lipsticks, um, which is called Darling Shock. Um, and it's the two-tone or the duo one. So it's in the old Christian Dior packaging. And like one side, it was a really nice purple and the other one was like a shimmery sort of rosy purple. Really, really pretty. I love that color. I think a lot of you would like that color. So it's in here nicely gift wrapped. I'm gonna hang this on the tree like this. Um, so I can't show you what that looks like, but that wasn't for me anyway. The thing that I got, I can't show you one because it's for a swap, but another thing that I got, which was a lipstick, is this one. It's the Rouge Dior. This one's called number 434 Brune Summer Not sure, but basically I've been looking for a brown lipstick for a while, but a brown where I don't look like an elderly person, a sort of hazelnut brown, a chestnutty brown, sort of... Um, kind of, I don't know, coffee brown, something to look like kind of twiggy and 60s. So this is what it looks like and it is a pretty, pretty colour. Um, let me see if I can put some on. I love this uh, formula, it's really smooth and it's got like a really nice gloss to it. I kind of just needed like an everyday colour, so this is it. Hope you can kind of see what it looks like. But just very simple, very chic and work appropriate and I just like it with like nude eyes at the moment, sort of just very basic matte, matte face and matte eyes and um, this sort of really nice brown lip with a bit of gloss to it to kind of give me a little bit more depth and texture. So yeah, that is my quick haul. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you very soon. Take care guys. Bye.